Hello, Barbara here. Today we're going to talk about breast cancer. Good things that you should know. Now a lot of you are worried about breast cancer due to a family history. So listen carefully. You can reduce your risk, stop that trail that's going through your family, and stop being afraid. Number one, Premarin and Provera increase breast cancer risk. In a 1995 study of nurses, women taking synthetic estrogen without anything else had a 36% increased risk of breast cancer. If they were taking synthetic estrogen plus a progestin, which is a synthetic progesterone, they had a 50% risk. If they just were taking the progestin, they had a 240% increased risk. So remember this, God designed natural hormones, a chemist designed the synthetics. And here's number two, estriol is the most protective estrogen. But most doctors use estradiol. The estrogen estriol, which protects against breast cancer, is completely missing from many forms of conventional HRT, including the patch, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Next, breast cancer can spread rapidly, but it can be slowed and stopped. Breast cancer can uh, double quite, uh, quite quickly. So you want to slow the proliferation rate of the cells to slow the cancer. Another study, this was another huge study, showed that if you were taking estradiol alone, you would increase proliferation, which is growth of the cancer cell, by 230%. If you were taking natural progesterone, drum roll, decreased it by more than 400%. Estrogen dominance. Where, where can you get estrogen dominant? From the environmental xenoestrogens that are all around us. They can increase breast cancer risk. Do you know women in Asia have lower incidence of breast cancer? Not because they're eating soy, but because of less estrogens in the environment. Besides Asia, uh, rates are lower also in India and Israel because those countries are less uh, industrialized and the industrialization causes those xenoestrogens. Natural progesterone can shut down cancer replication. There's a breast cancer researcher named Dr. David Zava, and he studied the estrogen and progesterone levels in breast tissue specimens that were taken from women who'd already had surgery for breast cancer. Almost universally, they revealed estrogen dominance and progesterone deficiency in sample tumors. So Dr. Zava concluded that the majority of the cells in the tumor were well differentiated and quiet, not replicating, in women who were taking progesterone. They also found that estrogen alone would promote the cancer growth, but when progesterone was added, the tumor suppressor genes were stimulated and the cancer growth was stopped. Along the same lines, you can protect your breasts with natural progesterone. You don't have to wait until you have cancer or you wait until you find out someone in your family has cancer. A Johns Hopkins study, which is a gold standard, showed the incidence of breast cancer was five and a half times greater in women with low progesterone. And this is the incident, not the risk. The incidence was five and a half times greater if you had low progesterone than if you had good progesterone levels. Doctors who use natural progesterone in their practices tell me they're seeing very little breast cancer because it slows that growth and differentiation. Breast birth control pills, oh gosh, let's talk about those. They greatly increase, increase breast cancer risk. And this is really upsetting to me, teenagers are taking birth control pills, and they markedly increase their breast cancer risk by as much as six times. And the longer the girl uses them, the greater the risk. This has to do with the fact that the um, estrogen and progesterone in birth control pills are synthetic, and they damage the DNA of these undeveloped, immature breast cells in young girls. Yet, doctors are consistently giving teenage girls 
birth control pills to treat acne. No, no, no. If you've got a young gal taking birth control pills or know of one for acne, you have them get in touch with me because I can steer them to products that are all natural that will not hurt their breasts. Uh, think about treating any breast injury with progesterone. Yes, injury to your breast can cause cellular damage. Now you've got some damaged cells that can become cancerous. So Dr. John Lee and his colleagues have suggested that following any injury to the breast, you should put progesterone cream directly on that breast for three months. If you're going to have a mammogram, ladies, put it on about two weeks before you go because you know how that machine squishes the breast and this causes a little injury. Okay, finally, hormonal imbalances that are associated with breast cancer. Listen to this. High estrogen, low progesterone, low DHEA, high testosterone, low thyroid. So you want to take care of your thyroid. Low melatonin, high nighttime cortisol, low vitamin D, and high insulin. So we want to avoid all of those. Now natural progesterone in the correct strength to protect the breasts can be purchased without a doctor's prescription. You want to look for a cream that has a thousand milligrams of micronized progesterone in the two ounce jar. You don't want wild DM, it must say progesterone, and stay away from creams that contain other hormones like DHEA. If you have a history of breast cancer, before you get a product that has any phytoestrogens in it, check with your doctor because some doctors will allow that and some don't. There you go. Protect your breasts and stop the spread of breast cancer. And if you need this in a written form, email me, call me, write me. This front and back, two pages, and I've got lots of tips in here of how to get xenoestrogens out of your life.